got five more minutes. Good afternoon. I'm Dan Cole, and I'm a volunteer. My name is Jennifer, and I work with MDOT Superior. And this is Greg Johnson, one of our judges, Chief Operations Engineer, and Phil Becker, General Manager of International Bridge Administration. And you are the Bridge Builders Incorporated from Portage Central High School. And you may begin. Hello. Good morning. We are the Bridge Builders Incorporated. We have participated so far today in the 2014 Michigan Build Bridge Challenge here in Lansing, and we participated in the Arch Bridge Challenge. Hello, I'm Team Captain Josh McAllister. Uh, I'm John Cobb. And I'm Lucostro. Our team advisor was Mr. Dale Freeland, and we come from Portage Central High School in Portage, Michigan. Our goal was, in order to maximize our efficiency score, to reduce the weight of our bridge as much as we could. The efficiency score is calculated through the maximum load the bridge can hold, divided by the bridge weight itself. So by lowering the weight of the bridge, we're able to get a better score. The steps we chose to maximize the efficiency was looking at it through our experimentation, planning a design with low weight, and making sure that our building techniques facilitated. Experimentation overview. Experimentation overview. Optimization is key. What is optimization in this case? Optimization is producing the most amount of efficiency for the length to volume ratio. For example, if we were to go left on this graph past our optimal point, we would expect the bridge to be so dense that the bridge is not going to produce well. Meanwhile, if we were to go all the way over to the right, we would expect the bridge to be so spaced out and, again, not producing a very high efficiency score. So we want to be right in the middle that's where we will find our optimal length to volume of the bridge. So how do we produce this graph? We first need to find four equations. First, our strength to length formula for the balsa wood, strength of glue per joint, weight to length formula of the balsa wood, and finally the cube efficiency simulation. This final simulation will actually produce our beloved parabola that we uh, bestowed in the previous uh, slide. So to test downward forces, we need it to some, we need we need something to pull down the masses. So we built the Dunkin' Donuts carrier, penny carrier, out of a Dunkin' Donuts box, metal uh, hanger, some string, and electrical tape. We we put pennies in this this carrier to test downward forces in both the strength of length and the group, the strength of glue per joint. So our first test was the strength of length testing. What, what we did is we separated a piece of balsa wood over two chairs at the given lengths over there, and we plotted these points out using Logger Pro and found out the formula. Strength is equal to 4.5 pounds minus 0 0.7 times the length. The weight to length of balsa wood. This is, after massing different lengths of balsa wood, we were able to find another equation. The weight is equal to 0 0.02 grams plus 0 0.03 grams times the inches. Strength of glue. Using the Donuts carrier, we were able to test how strong a single butt joint could hold. After three trials, we averaged it out to, to about 2.0 pounds before failure. Finally, our cube efficiency simulation. What, what the cube efficiency simulation is, is it's basically we wanted to figure out how much weight a cube could hold, and then we scaled this up to how much this cube would be for the entire bridge. And using that, we're able to find a simple downward force base. Uh, calculation of efficiency. So, given that if we were to apply downward force on a cube, only four members would be receiving downward force, giving us our second equation, uh, the, the expected cube strength equation numbers. Using the, the mass equation, we're able to find the one to the right, and then knowing that, we're able to find the efficiency. Knowing the volume and the total volume of the bridge, we're able to create the overall volume efficiency. Note that this score is actually three times larger than our original findings because if we were to glue cubes next to each other, that would be access lamination. <laughs> so finally, after plugging the overall volume equi equation, efficiency equation into Logger Pro, we're able to do a quadratic regression model and setting the derivative of this graph to zero, we're able to find out the optimal length of balsa wood. And that is 5.1 inches. Um, our original design that we put in our proposal um, was slightly changed. For, 
from what we actually built into the bridge. What we actually built into the bridge was changed in two ways. The first of all was there's a small inner radius. This radius was originally three inches, but was increased to five due to ease of production and structural stability. As well as the two outer spokes that are connected to the outer arch had to be increased to hit the center point due to the same reasons that we had to increase the arch. Some of the details of our bridge are that the total length of balsa wood that we use in the bridge is 201 inches of balsa wood. It weighs around 16 grams and held 60 pounds in our weight test and with the efficiency score of 17.03. This is kind of interesting because we actually used a program called Model Smart where we weighed the um, bridge in it weighed the bridge in estimated grams, which was six grams, and it held 14.4. And this efficiency score was 1,088. We kind of expected this because there are some drawbacks to do it. You can test the bridges, and we got an uh, estimated efficiency score, but we couldn't actually make arches in this program. So we had to use triangles, which we believe reduced our score slightly because arches are slightly preferable to triangles as far as structural stability. We used Bentley Power Draft to draw our diagrams for the bridges and get a great design for our proposal, and we use Logger Pro to do all the derivatives, do the math, and get our graphs for our data. Some of the design changes that we would make would be that we would like to increase the width from four and a half inches across the bridge to two and a half inches. We'd like to actually keep that length of wood and use it to cross brace, um, and we'd like to still keep the arches fairly same. On the building overview, we focused on three main points when we were building the bridge. The tools that we used, the techniques we used with those tools, and the safety that we used to make sure we didn't impale ourselves on the tools. <laughs> the tools that we used included things such as rulers for measuring, an aluminum balsa wood base that allowed us to get better angles with our cutting, exacto knives and saws for cutting, as well as an aluminum foil to stop messes while gluing, and a protractor to measure the angles. For bending the wood, we used a plastic bin, ammonium hydroxide, and warm boiling water in order to get a nice curve of the bridge. For the arch form, we also used a piece of wood that we put some nails in in order to form an arch that we could then set the uh, treated wood into to allow it to keep the shape. The techniques we used for this ranged from making sure to sand down the edges of the wood after we cut it perfect angle and verifying that with the protractor to make sure that we were sure. For cutting multiple pieces of wood, we would use a roller cutter, <coughs> marking lengths quickly and precisely. We would oftentimes sand down most of the joints within our bridge to reduce the weight given to it by the glue and offer more structural stability. As well as we used ammonium hydroxide to dissolve the cellulose within the wood allowing it to become less rigid so that we could bend it into the curved shape. For safety, we focused a lot. <laughs> safety was very big on our standpoint. We made sure to always wear safety goggles, and whenever someone was cutting, we would stand far away from them as to not distract them and to prevent any incidents. Uh, we all made sure to always wash our hands after handling and when using the ammonium hydroxide, we placed the bin outside to prevent any inhalation of toxic chemicals released from it. All of these steps were done with adult supervision and a first aid kit on hand. Some of the lessons we learned is that we can produce something really cool and really successful just by using some of the teamwork. Um, bridges are fascinating structures with fascinating designs, and for the first time, we kind of just made a project all our own, and we like to think that this could actually be a thing we could build someday as a structure or a bridge, and it could actually be used. We learned um, to follow up on our goals and visions, and we learned to become part of something bigger than ourselves. Um, we'd like to acknowledge the programs we used, um, pa um, Bentley PowerDraft, Logger Pro, and Model Smart for letting us use their awesome programs. We'd like to thank our parents for putting up with us and with all our rambling and ideas, and we'd like to thank our Dale Freeland, but especially we'd like to thank MDOT for supporting us here and letting us perform at the bridge competition here today. Some sources.
start. Yeah. <laughs> 